everyone, it's Shotzi for the Rough Cuts on Sunday. I hope you all have had an awesome week. Today I'm going to be talking about a comedy. It's a mad, 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 mad world. That's four mads. It is directed by Stanley Kramer. Some of you might be more familiar with his more dramatic films, such as Judgment Nuremberg, Inherit the Wind, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. And to no surprise, he really enjoyed working with Spencer Tracy, who starred in all of those films. And this one was no exception to that. He is one of the main stars in this movie. It was his second to last movie just prior to Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. And this is a really, it's a funny movie. The word zany is perfect for this. At the time when this was done, pretty much everyone who was anyone in comedy was contacted to be in this movie. In fact, when word got around that Stanley Kramer was trying to round up all of these comedians, those who weren't asked to be in it asked him why they weren't in it. A lot of people begged to have a role in this, no matter how small. Um, some people, even like um, Jerry Lewis, he's only on screen for like maybe eight seconds in the movie. But it's, it's a lot of fun. This was the first big budget comedy that was ever successful. And it's, it lives up to its title, this movie. It's just, it's crazy. And everyone who worked on it... When you see them in interviews, most of them, this was their favorite movie that they've ever done. They had a lot of fun. And everyone got along on the set. They're all really professional. No prima donnas. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. You can tell when watching this that a lot of people, they were just having a great time on making this movie. It stars most of the big names in comedy at the time. You have Sid Caesar. Milton Berle, Terry Thomas, Jonathan Winters, it was his first movie in this, Mickey Rooney, Buddy Hackett, so many people were in this. It would take me like 10 minutes just to list everyone that was in here. And you should really, really check it out. The score is great by Ernest Gold. It gives you almost kind of like a circus feeling. The stunts will just kind of blow your mind because there are a lot of stunts. I think on during the whole production, there was maybe one day when they did, weren't filming a stunt. The photographic effects are really great, but it's a fun movie. The premise of the movie is you have this criminal who's on the lam, and he's being chased by the cops, and then he goes flying over the side of a cliff, and then, of course, the, the car crashes and everything, there's an explosion. And um, you see it's Jimmy Durante, who was the criminal on the lam. And all of these people, they, they see what happens. They come running down and see if he's okay. And he talks about this money that he's going to go get. And how it's buried underneath the big W. And they need to find this money. And they're going to be rich beyond their dreams. And then he kicks the bucket. And they're all just like, oh, okay. Too bad he's dead. They tell the police that he said nothing, and then everyone is on a mad dash trying to find this money. And just everything that ensues afterwards is insane. Things that you can think of is just insane. You have explosions, you have near drownings in rivers, you have buildings coming down. They just basically wreak havoc along the West Coast while the police are watching their every move. They're taking bets on who's going to get there first. And it's just a lot of fun. Definitely check this movie out. I highly recommend it. And that, that's all for this week. It's It's been a busy week. This is actually, a lot of you don't know this, this is actually my 49th independent review for, no, as a rough cutter for this channel. It's like my 51st review for this channel. But yeah, so next week is going to be my 50th review as a rough cutter. And I'm not quite sure what movie I'm going to do. So if you have any suggestions, throw them my way. And I will see you then. So until then, bye.